Hello everybody and welcome back to my garage roleplay. Right, so this morning I'm on my way to the shop. It's uh, just before 8 a.m. And today we've got a little bit of work to do to our Chevy Impala, the 1967 that is. And yeah, there's a couple of things that we're going to be discussing in this episode. So exactly where this uh, roleplay series is going towards. Um, yeah, I see Tom is at the pub over there probably having some breakfast but yeah he's been at it this morning earlier apparently been working on the El Camino for Cyclone so we do actually need to go and drop off some wheels at his shop I did load them in the El Camino yesterday in my my El Camino so we'll bring it over to his shop in a bit over here but first I think let's just get our shop open and see what we are going to be working on today Right, so let's park up over here. Yeah, that should do. Pretty much out of the way. Put it in park. And here we are. So yeah, let's start today. So I did roll the windows down because it was a little bit hot this morning. Right, so let's get our shop open here. And once again, our lights turned on. And all right, so... This is pretty much where we stand with the Impala. So we've got pretty much all the interior bits we could find for it in white. And we've got a brand new driver's seat. I was unable to find any other seats for this thing. So that is pretty much what we are going to be installing in this. But I did go ahead and poke around on this suspension. I didn't remove anything yet, but I did sort of inspect it and see what I'm going to need. So I ordered those parts already. So... That is pretty much what I'm going to be doing today is stripping off the old crusty parts and replacing it with the new ones that I got over here on the shelf. And we also have got some rear leaf springs from our 1958 Chevy Impala that I will be installing on this. They are still in very good condition. So these are pretty much lowering springs. And then we will pretty much uh, sort out the suspension in this episode of this car and yeah I'm not too sure if I should install the interior yet because this will be going to Uncle Richard's shop for a paint job and there's not a lot of work to be done to the body so yeah, it shouldn't take too long for them to get this knocked out of the park for us so yeah that is pretty much where we stand with the Impala but for now I quickly want to go and take these wheels to Tom's shop and get them fitted on that El Camino so that it's at least uh, mobile a bit so that you can at least push it around uh, because obviously all those wheels and tires on that truck is a little bit damaged so I'm just going to take this over to Tom and yeah, probably also fit it for him so this shouldn't take too long and then hopefully we can return to our shop and start working on our Impala over there. All right, let's just back it up in here. All right, that should be fine. Okay, so yeah, let's get busy quickly with this. So, see, he did uh, quite a bit of work already. So, yeah, I did manage to get some of the rust removed for him, but there is still some hidden rust on some of these panels, obviously. But yeah, he will sort it out and then. Hopefully get this thing put back together so that we can start working on it. So there's a, a lot of work to do on this thing, suspension-wise and engine-wise. So yeah, that is pretty much the process we're going to be doing. Uh, so let's go ahead and quickly see where he put his floor jack. I know he had one right over there. So let's uh, get some wheels and tires on this thing that is going to make it at least movable. can see this uh, front wheel is uh, quite a bit bent so that is definitely going to the scrap but for now we'll just uh, put it down out of the way I think over there would be fine and yeah let's slap these bad boys on so these were actually the wheels that was on our El Camino before we got those wheels and tires fit fitted we have got on the car now so I think these should fit the El Camino pretty well I'm not too sure if this is what Cyclone would want on his El Camino, but I will definitely check with him as well and see what wheels he would like on it. 
Uh, he did have some other requests as well, like the El Camino parts, the Chevy parts, uh, similar to what we have on our El Camino over here. But I'll just check with him exactly what he wants and what he doesn't want on it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we will figure that out by the time we start working on this. So let's go around the other side quickly and get the other wheels fitted. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit tight over here, but we should manage. Uh, let's just go. There we go. All right, that should do. Let's uh, grab the wrench here for a second again and see if we can get these wheels off. And yeah, this one doesn't look too bad. It looks like the tire has got some thread on it as well. But yeah, we're not too sure what he would like on his pickup. So yeah, for now, these are just pretty much going to be hanging around here. And then we will probably get to work on this thing once Tom is done with it so he's still got a quite a bit of work to do here and there's also a lot of parts missing on this thing so I think it's gonna take Tom a little bit of time to figure everything out but I'm sure he will sort it out in no time all right so yeah let's just get the the last wheel over here and oh, that one actually doesn't look too bad either so yes three out of the four tires are still somewhat good condition maybe they just needed a little bit of air but yeah, at least we know all of these are straight i don't know if something happened with these in the accident so that is something that at least we know we've scratched off the list of damaged parts all right let's just get this jack back to where it belongs over here and then yeah let's get back to our shop and start working on that 1967 impala so I'm hopeful that everything will go smooth and that all the parts will fit on it. So yeah, let's let's go and see. I mean, that's the only way of figuring something out is to start getting into it. All right, so my plans are if the car is ready to be taken to Uncle Richard's shop today, we will do that as well. So I'm going to reverse over here. We're just going to park where we can hook up to the trailer if we do need to load the Impala today but we will see how far we get with the rest of the work on it so yeah there we go all right I think we can probably use the side entrance over here and we still have the donor vehicle well what's left of it in the shop so we'll see what parts we need to salvage off this before we get rid of this or put it in the storage barn but yeah, that also brings me to what is going to happen in the near future of the RP series. So obviously we've got a new series upcoming and I would definitely like to end this series in a way that we can at least, yeah, say that we have achieved quite a lot and we're not ending the series abruptly. While I try and save this car from falling down from the lift quickly, let me just... Uh, Go down a bit and push it back straight. There we go. All right. So, yeah, sometimes removing these wheels are a little bit finicky. So we'll just let them drop down by themselves. And then that should be safe. All right. So, yeah, coming back to the new series we're going to be starting off very soon on the channel. So it is called My Garage Revivals. So it's pretty much a brand new shop that has been built. And, yeah, there's going to be some other projects as well as a bunch of things we need to gather first before we can really start getting into it but yeah that is just something you guys are gonna have to wait and see but yeah I think it's definitely gonna be as successful as the RP series over here so yeah coming back to this uh, 67 Impala I did uh, take a little bit of a look around as I said so there are some new parts on the shelves here so that is pretty much what we're going to be installing now but first i need to take off all of these uh crusty parts so there's quite a bit of things we need to do here so yeah let's uh carry on with the removing of these parts i see some of them aren't in too bad of a condition so we might actually scrap that uh, but yeah, we will see. I mean, it all depends on what we have to work with here. 
and what we can still reuse maybe on a different vehicle but yeah it's not really any point in keeping these parts if we are going to be moving to a different series pretty soon so yeah most of this will probably be junked and as promised i think i did promise in a couple of episodes ago already that i will be uploading the rp series save onto nexus as well for everybody to enjoy so that is also something you guys can look forward to so this season won't really be abandoned completely it's just going to be pretty much uh, put into your guys' hands and you can pretty much make of it what you would like all right so yeah but there's quite a bit of parts that i see i didn't buy yet so we'll need to get a new hub carrier but we can probably go and fetch that from the shop next door quickly but i think the guy should have stock of that all right so we've got our strut rods we do have new ones of these as well i did order a full set of brakes and rotors and everything for this and new hubs so we can get that sorted out as well uh, this hub carrier still looks fine so maybe we can yeah let's actually put that back and just remove the actual hub here that is a little bit busted so also need to try and keep these broken parts aside so that we don't get them mixed up with the new ones but yeah i think that shouldn't happen yeah i also got a new steering link because some of these parts they still look like they are in good condition but yeah i think it's just a little bit better if we change it all out while we are down here and also some parts like the shock absorber are still in fairly good condition but i've got new ones as well so we'll just put the new ones in all right and there we go we've got our other shock up here yeah that doesn't look too bad either but we need to replace it anyway and then we've got this strut rod over here all right so yeah that's also still in pretty decent condition so we'll just pop it over there for now all right so i think that is yeah pretty much everything we need to strip off with this wrench there's some pry bar work to be done here with the torsion bars so let's get this removed okay let's get this one removed as well all right so i think we are good to move towards the back of this car now let's just grab a wrench again so there are a couple of parts here also that doesn't look too bad but we're going to be replacing all the brakes and all the hubs all right so we are going to be replacing the leaf springs because both of these are busted as well so that is definitely coming off once i can get to all these bolts over here right so that is definitely broken i'll put that over there and this is our old caliper which is still in good condition but we'll scrap it as well right so we've got new shock absorbers as well so we're going to take these off as well because they don't yeah i don't think they're really that bad but we'll just replace them anyway all right let's grab this one yeah this one is a little bit crusty so that is definitely going out all right let's take off this leaf spring Okay, that is also broken so we've got a replacement for that and what else the brake let's take off this brake as well all right we'll pop the brake over there now we should actually just move these things with the other ones over there yeah that should do all right now everything is together and our axle actually dropped down so I think while this thing is down we can pretty much strip parts of this so we've got a new rear end or differential as well for this so i went with a 3.2 differential for this and it's just going to increase the top speed of this car a little bit so we were definitely in need of one of those 
So here we've got it. So yeah, I think while we're at it, let's pop it on. Get all these bolts tightened down. Come on, turn that way. All right, and then we're also going to be replacing both the rear hubs here. So that is pretty much going to come off now. Just need to grab a screwdriver. Okay, this thing is wiggling a bit about, but we've got it. All right, so that is ready to come off. Let's grab our wrench again. Okay, there's one broken hub. Okay, this one doesn't look too bad, but we'll definitely replace that as well. And let's pick up this one. All right, so there's all the crusty parts removed now. So I think that is that is pretty much everything I'm going to replace on this. So yeah, let's uh, let's start by the suspension at the back. I think let's grab our rear shock absorbers firstly get them mounted to the car and then that way we can secure the yeah the rear axle so that that doesn't fall off the whole time okay so where's the other rear one there it is all right and now our axle should be good to go back in and bolt that down so that it doesn't go anywhere. All right, let's do the rear hubs here. They should go on no problem. All right, I think, let me just see if I mount the leaf spring, if that is going to work out for us here. So obviously we need to put this thing down on the ground so that everything can settle again but yeah that already looks much better all right let's uh let's maybe do one corner at a time and finish it off now so i think let's get the brakes over here uh those are the rear pads okay so let's get those taken out and just put that back on the shelf let's get this mounted quickly all right so Brand new brake, brake rotor is done. And now we need to get our rear left caliper over here. Let's use this one and get these pads in here. All right, and then we'll slap it on the car. Zip that down. Got some new brake lines. All right, so I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do for wheels on this car. Not too sure yet if I'm going to do the ones we've got on the El Camino, maybe. Just to see what that looks like. Because these, they need a little bit of a, a spacer to fit properly. All right, let's go and grab our other leaf spring over here. Okay, so this should let the suspension at least settle once and for all in its place. Right, where is this bolt? It's probably behind the muffler. Okay, let's zip these down as well. And let's not forget our drive shaft. There we go, that is zipped down as well. Okay, so let's do the other brake. Uh, looking for the rear right over here, so let's put that down. Let's get our brake pads. And I should probably also just mount the, the hub first. So there it is. It's our brand new hub. Let's get this on the car as well. All right, perfect. And let's get our other rear brake disc. Or rotor, if you can would like to call it that. Let's just get that zipped down again. All right, boom, that is done. 
brake caliper, brake hose, and then our wheel can go back on. All right, let's slap the wheel back on. No, come on. All right, we're going to have to probably move the lift arm out of the way a bit, so that is not going to go on at the moment. Uh, let's finish off the brake line. Okay, make sure that is tight. All right, I think that is pretty much rear suspension done. It's just this wheel won't go on now with the lift arm in the way. So we will sort that out in a bit. And I did need to go and buy the front right hub carrier. So let me maybe do that quickly. All right, so we've got our brand new hub carrier over here. We can get fitted to the car now. And then, yeah, I think that's pretty much going to sort that out. Uh, this one I think is still fine. I'm not going to bother with this one. It still looks pretty good. But now we're going to move over to the front suspension. So we're going to start with our steering link. And I did notice our steering arm and our steering box is still in good condition. So I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, but we do have new tie rods for both sides. So we could get these fitted in the meantime. All right, so there we go. That is sorted. All right, let's get this one. There we go. That is tight. And that is tight. Okay, perfect. Now, I think let me quickly do this. The torsion bars. So those just go in there. And that's just going to give us a nice lowered look on the car. Right, so there we have it. Perfect. Torsion bars are in. So let's do strut rods. Ah, oh, there it is. Perfect. Let's do the other side. There we go. Perfect. Right, let's get some hubs on those carriers. Let's get that one down and this one bolted down as well. All right, sweet. That is looking very good. All right, let's get our brake rotors. I think let's do both of these. Okay, screwdriver for that. I right, zip that down. And zip that down. All right, let's put that on the shelf. And now we pretty much need front shocks. Let's get these fitted as well. All right, zip that down and that down. Let's grab the last one over here. And then I think the only thing we need to do is pretty much brakes and wheels here. And then this car should be pretty much yeah ready to start moving again on its own wheels okay so let's uh, quickly do this on the shelf here it's a little bit more comfortable than getting all the way down all right so this is the front right so let's put this one on over there and let's grab the other one here Let's get that on there, and then, yeah, now I lost track of my wrench. It's probably somewhere, but, yeah, luckily we do have spare, so I don't know where I put it now. I'll probably kick myself once I find it. But okay, there we go. So we've got brake sorted. I uh, just need the brake lines. Come on, where is this going? There we go. All right, that is done. And let's grab this one over here. Okay, zip that down and zip that down. So that is brake sorted. So let's see if our wheels can go on this car. Okay, so there's that one.
All right, now I just need to figure out the way of getting that other wheel installed. All right, so I'm putting this on the shelf. And this can also be put with the trash over here that I'm going to dispose of in a bit. Or maybe off camera. But yeah, now just thinking maybe we should do it like this. Going to lower the card down. And we're going to put the jack underneath here so that when it goes down, it'll pretty much go and stand on the jack. So I hope that is going to work out. So I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to try this. All right. So let's try this again. So, yeah, we're going to see if our jack is going to be able to help us here once we get this thing down on the ground. All right, so there we have it. All right, let's get this arm out of the way, first of all. As far as we can, let's get this under the car. All right, that seems to be promising. Okay, let's put our wheel on. Grab our wrench. Oh, there's the other wrench. Okay, I found it. All right, so let's zip this wheel back down. And that is pretty much done. So this actually went faster than I thought. It's not too too bad, actually. All right, let's uh, lower it back down. And then we are going to pretty much put this car a little bit back. I'm just going to have to push it slightly because this thing is uh, very close to the ramp on this side or to the lift on this side okay let's get these arms taken out all right that is good let's see if we can push it slightly all right that is uh i think the e-brake might be off yeah there we go that'll work that will work all right stop right there all right, let's just tighten that up. All right, I think this car is pretty much ready for transportation to Uncle Richard's shop. Let's just uh, make sure we don't run over our brand new headliner over here. So let's put that over there. And then let's get the trailer hooked up to the El Camino and see if we can get this thing loaded on the trailer. And then we're going to make our way over to Uncle Richard's shop and pretty much sort everything out so yeah i think that is gonna be pretty much all that we're gonna be having to do for the rest of this episode is just to deliver this car safely to uncle richie's all right so yeah trailer hooked up there we go perfect all right let's get this into a position where we can actually get it on the trailer I think yeah, we don't want to get into the road too much yeah I think that should do the job perfect let's just uh, park up here for now and then see if we can get this thing lifted up again and I'm pretty sure the car will be able to drive up on the lift because I think in the last episode I mentioned that I'm going to do some work to the engine but the engine is actually brand new in this car so we don't have to fiddle with any of the things under the bonnet over here or the hood. So that is pretty much good to go. And yeah, we'll do the interior bits once uh, the car is back from paint. I think that is pretty much going to be only once they are done with everything they need to do on it. Right, let me just get a... Yeah, it's a little bit empty in here without the dashboard. Right, I think... Yeah, let's go forward a bit. Yeah, this is a little bit of a ship. But we should be able to do this. I don't know if it's a good idea reversing it on the trailer, but... It shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go on in reverse. I mean, we haven't done this before. Just 
just a little bit hard to judge how far we are on the trailer now. And I think I did a terrible job of that. Let's just see here. Yeah, it's going to slide down, so let me lower this down. Alright, there we go. Does this thing have a tow hook we can secure it with? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Alright, but yeah, I think that is safe to say this is on the trailer. Right, so we can pretty much switch it off. Yeah, I hope it's gonna be safe on the trailer like this. Um, it's probably not the best idea to have reversed it on, but yeah, it looks good. I mean, that is uh, on there. All right, so let's quickly close up our shop over here. I don't need to bother with the office door. That is fine. All right, that door is closed. And we could probably switch off the lights as well. All right, perfect. And let's get going. I mean, this is going to be a little bit of a drive, so... Yeah, I think I will catch up to you guys once we arrive at Uncle Richard's shop all the way in Middletown. So yeah, here we go. Alright, so here we are at Uncle Richard's shop, and we had to take it very slow. I don't know if uh, it's because the car is on reverse on the trailer, but yeah, it's uh, it's been swinging a little bit, but we made it here. So let's see if we can get this thing offloaded quickly, and then we can probably push it into the paint shop directly I don't know it doesn't look like there's anything else in there so yeah I do see a cop car over there that's probably unit one we did for the sheriff all right so let's uh let it roll down yeah that is a uh, very easy and painless once again you guys can see the paint it doesn't uh, match too well because that was just a rattle can spray Alright, so let's see if we can get this thing moved into the paint booth over there. I know these ramps or these, uh, yeah, this little entrance to the shop is a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit high, especially for a low vehicle like this, but yeah, we got it up. Alright, so here we are in the paint booth, and I think that should about do it. Alright, so here she is safe and sound in the paint booth and i think now they can just work their magic with this and sort it out for us and yeah there is a, a very special color that we are going with on this and there was a poll running on my discord so yeah if you guys are on the discord then you already know what color this will be but yeah that will be revealed once they are done with the car but I think that is pretty much going to be a wrap for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate every view, every like. And also remember, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. I will appreciate it very much. But yeah.
Cheerio.